Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how to use logarithmic functions to solve a problem like this. So here we have the log of base 2 equal to x squared minus 7x plus 14 equals 2. So here we're going to take the antilog of both sides, but it has to be the antilog to the base 2, which means we're going to take the, this as the exponent of the base 2, so 2 raised to the log base 2 of x squared minus 7x plus 14 is equal to 2 raised to the second power. So 2 here becomes the base of both sides. And then we realize that this negates the log of base 2, so this becomes x squared minus 7x plus 14 is equal to 2 to the second power, which is equal to 4. And now if we move the 4 to the other side, we get x squared minus 7x plus 10 Oop, yep, is equal to 0. And now we realize we have a quadratic equation that we can solve. In this case, we can factor this. So this becomes x minus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0 because minus 5 times minus 2 gives me plus 10. Minus 5 minus 2 gives me minus 7. So therefore, we get x equals 5 or x equals to 2 as the solution to that original equation. So sometimes it's a quadratic equation in disguise. Take the antilog of both sides and you can solve for x. And that's how it's done.